Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run Argo CD on top of Kubernetes cluster. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know what Argo CD is, it's basically uh, an application management uh, tool mm -hmm. for Kubernetes. So you can manage multi multiple applications using Argo CD. Uh, in this video, uh, what so this will be like a two or three part video. So I'll basically start with like showing you how you can uh, run Argo CD on top of uh, Kubernetes. And then in the subsequent video, I'll show you how you can basically manage or how does Argo CD manages multiple application which are running on your Kubernetes cluster, right? So in this video, uh, I'll be using uh, K3D to create Kubernetes cluster. Uh, you can use a full-fledged Kubernetes cluster with master and worker node. I'll be using K3D. So K3D is an open source tool, which is basically used to create a lightweight Kubernetes cluster. It uses Docker in the background. So if you want, I mean, I can show you the installation of K3D as well, but it's it's very straightforward. If you go to K3D, so do a Google search on K3D installation, you will get uh, basically instructions for different platforms, uh, either it is Linux, Mac, or Windows, Mac or Windows. So you can find that in the K3D documentation and just install K3D. And you should also have kubectl installed on your system. So these are the two things which you need. All right, so let's get started. And very quickly, I'll create a cluster uh, using K3D. So K3D cluster create. So if, if you don't give it any name, it will create a default cluster, but I want a name for my cluster, so I'll call it Argo CD. So this hardly takes a minute or so because it's launching basically Docker containers uh, behind the scene. I'll show you the containers as well, right? So you can see if I do Docker PS, you can see it has launched two containers and there this is what the K3D has done for us. All right. And once you see the cluster is created, it has given you a kubectl command to use that cluster. So basically how to use that context. So I'll just copy this command and I'll paste it over here. So we can now use this cluster. So if I do kubectl get nodes, it will show me the node, right? So it, it has launched for me a one node cluster. You can, if you want, you can actually have multiple uh, Docker containers for multiple node cluster as well. All right. So we are done with that. So now our cluster is ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a, a namespace where we are going to run all our Argo CD pods. So kubectl create namespace and I'll call it Argo CD. Right, so namespace is created. Now to install Argo CD, if you go on to, I'll put the link for Argo CD documentation as well, from where you can get the installation uh, instructions. It's nothing, basically it's a YAML file, which you need to apply using kubectl. So I'll just copy that and I'll put it over here. And you can see it creating all the required resources, Kubernetes resources, which are needed for that. All right, so it is done. Let's clear this screen. And if I do kubectl get service icon, in. so you can see all the services are created. I think pods would still be creating, so we actually have to wait. kubectl get, yeah, you can see the containers are still creating. So we'll just wait for a couple of minutes and come back once this these are created. Let's see again where it is. It's still creating. All right, so all our pods are now running. So you can see it took around two minutes, ten seconds to, for all the pods to come up. All right, so now if I do kubectl get So over here, the Argo CD server, this service is basically our UI uh, service. So we need to do port forwarding onto, so that we can access the UI on our local, right? Uh, local system. 
But before doing that, so in order to log into Argo CD, you need username and password. So we need to extract that information as well. So to extract the uh, password, basically you need to do kubectl get first, I think there's a secret basically which it, it creates. Uh, get secrets on and Argo CD. Initial admin secret. So this is the secret. Uh, so if I do say describe, right? Okay, so this is an opaque secret. All right. So we need to basically do a get and get the secret. So cube ctl. Let me clear the screen. Cube ctl. And Argo CD get secret and and the field which we need is so I'll use some JSON path and that would be JSON path. So this is the password, but this is base64 encoded. So we need to actually decode this. So we'll just pipe this to base64 hyphen D. And this is our password. So now we can do port forwarding. So in order to port forward, the command is very simple. You just need to do kubectl port forward and we need to port forward the service which is uh, argo cd server i believe right argo cd server and the namespace is argo cd and we need to port forward it was running on 8080 and we need to forward it to 443 all right so now it is actually running so now if i just open safari and i do 127 0.1 uh, oh it should run let me try it on other browser yes so it is actually opening on my chrome but somehow safari is not responding so let me just pull in my chrome you can see and advance proceed and this is the ui you will get so the username is admin and the password is what we extracted so we'll just paste it over here sign in and welcome to Argo CD UI. So this is where you will see all your applications uh, which are running and being managed by uh, Argo CD. Uh, for this video, I think I'll stop over here. Uh, in case you have any doubts, just please feel free to comment uh, and I'll be happy to help you, right? So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you like the video. Please, please, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.